Torch, last year, your team was one that uh, had trouble scoring goals, and there have been some low-scoring games to start this season. Over the first four games, is that an area of concern for you early on, or are you okay with it? Do you see some signs that you're going to come around in that area? No, it's an area of concern. Uh, I, I don't think our, uh, our top guys have found their game. Um, I think we've been a little sloppy with our passing. Um, we just, you know, I, I think we played one game of the four that I thought we developed, uh, I think it was like 28, 29 scoring chances. Bobby, the last game in Detroit, they had five even strength scoring chances. We had, I think, eight in a 60 minute hockey game. Neither team developed much. Uh, we end up losing the game, getting the point, but, uh, no, it's a concern because I, I, uh, Started even with our back end, Jonesy and Z haven't been been involved in the offense, which is so important for our team. Uh, so you asked me this morning, yeah, it's a concern, and uh, uh, hopefully, I'll have another answer for you after a few more days here. We play a couple more games. So is it fair to say it's a concern, but not a panic, even though it's a short season? So I guess everything gets kind of uh, intensified here. Yeah, we're, we're not going to panic. It's it it, it it's going to be a different year. Uh, you know, th this is. I think a lot of different things are going to happen during the year. Um, you almost can't coach it the way you'd like to in a regular season, in a regular year. Uh, we got to be really careful about spooking our team because uh, we've never been down this road. No, no, the, the intensity of the games, the the atmosphere, of the building, it's just totally different, and it, it's totally different than the bubble too. Um, and so we got to work through that and. Uh, uh, yeah, so it, it's just, it's a different road for us and we've got to attack each day and, and try to help them along the way here. Is Alexander Texier your best forward right now, in your opinion? Well, he's our hardest working player. Uh, and I, I think when you, uh, I think him and Jens have put in, uh, the, the hardest work and just, and it's just the way they play too. And, and I think he's reaped some of the benefit where he's been around the puck. Uh, um, he's, he's on all, he's on the power play. He's killing penalties for us now. Uh, yeah. So he, he's probably been our most inconsistent guy in my mind. When I'm on the bench, I got to get him back on the ice, you know? Uh, and that's really good. But also like you, the answer, it's a, it's a worry of mine because I'm not looking at other guys, uh, uh, really our top players trying to, get them back on the ice. They're going to play, but in my mind, I'm always looking for techs to try to give us a lift energy wise. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And I was going to follow up with Boone Jenner too, because he's got two goals already in the first four games. You've moved him back to the wing this year. Uh, he's had great success when he's played on the wing in this league. What do you see about his game, taking him out of the middle, taking away some of that defensive responsibility and just letting him go? Yeah, I, I, I just, like he, he sits there the other night, uh, uh, when we protect the lead against Detroit and blocks three shots in a row uh, in a space of a few minutes. And um, I, don't, I don't care if you put him on wing center, play defense or play goal. Well, Boone Jenner is Boone Jenner. That's just what he's all about. And uh, I, I try to use him. And I think I do. I think him and Tex is going to be very important this year just to bring energy to our lineup because I think in, in, in throughout the year, there is going to be problems with energy. There is because of the buildings, just the atmosphere of the building. And uh, we're going to have to create our own energy. I think they're going to be two very important players. And that's what Jens is. Uh, I think he probably feels more comfortable while the young wing um, uh, scores a nice goal the other night because he just shoots the puck off the wing. He's a straight ahead player. And I think that gives him more of an opportunity to play straight ahead. You talked about some of your top players not producing yet. And I know obviously Cam Atkinson's on that list and Pierre-Luc Dubois got one so far, but where is Max Domi for you? And I know he's making the transition to a new team and maybe a little bit of a new system, new teammates and, and had no preseason to work it out, but is he starting to get more acclimated? Uh, I don't know. It's been a struggle. He, he's kind of watching the game. Uh, I, I think he's trying to fit in so badly and, and not want to make mistakes. Uh, that he's just not allowing his game to go. Uh, we, we talked before the first Detroit game uh, or the second Detroit game uh, before we came home. And I just asked him, I said, just attack the game. Usually, his, his whole key is his legs. 
and, and attack the game. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, you know, he's only been here a short while. We haven't had a long camp. And when new guys come in, they have those three weeks to, uh, to, to really kind of figure it out. He, I'm sure he's trying to figure me out. I'm still trying to figure him out. And uh, has he been effective? He's had some struggles. Uh, he's had a few effective shifts, but we got to get more out of him. And uh, I just don't want him to overthink. I just want him to play and not be afraid to make a mistake. You know, we always talk about preseason and it, it can be long and it's a grind. And this team most years has played eight preseason games, which seems like forever. I'm not a huge fan of it. And I know you've talked about it before, but now that you're, you're in a season where you had no preseason for an example, just like this with Max, um, how much does that hinder creating that chemistry and, and, and getting those problems solved before these games count for points? Yeah. If a new guy's coming to a lineup, I think it's pretty important. Just, not, not so much the games just to have the weeks um because he he has to understand our system uh understand the coaches and uh although you can't do it now go out to dinner with his teammates and get to know them them get to know him uh it, it puts him it puts the new guys behind an eight ball too with that in in where you just can't do that you can't uh, uh do all that stuff in the public and try to have, have some fun together so uh different preseason a uh, different amount of time different world uh, as far as these new guys coming to our team. So uh, I think it takes a little bit more time as, as we see. Do you have any lineup changes for this one tonight? No lineup changes. Only lineup changes will be in goal. Corpy will play goal. How have you liked what he's shown you in the first two games, especially that afternoon game in Detroit, where I thought he was the one guy that showed up on time for you and kept you in the game. Yeah. Yeah. He, he was, uh, uh, he's solid. He, he just looks very confident in his game and, um, yeah, he it, it, it he, he's just he's just played well. Uh, I think Elvis is, you know, trying to find his game. Uh, I thought he had struggles in his first game. Uh, really didn't. He had so much tough luck in the second game. I mean, the three goals are uh, deflections right to an open net. Uh, one ramps up a stick in the top corner, and he makes a really good save on that two on one in the OT. It just hits it hits Bertuzzi and. It was really tough luck for him, and he really didn't get much work either. I mean, they they had five scoring chances in the in the sixty minute game, and, and so yeah, so I, I I you know I'm sure he wants to get more work. He'll get back in there and uh, he'll find his game. Well, this team that you're going to take on tonight and Saturday is a team that I'm sure you guys know pretty doggone well after the two playoff series in the last two years. When I was talking with Jody Shelley yesterday, he felt that this is a great challenge for your team to face the defending Stanley Cup champs, because even though it's been a little bit of a struggle and they've sputtered a bit offensively, that this is a team because of the history and because of the talent that you're going to face on the other side, it can be a, a jumpstart type of a thing for your team. Do you agree with that? Yeah, you hope so. You, you hope so. You hope that you, it, it gets your attention. It better get your attention because we we can't play at the level and speed that we've kind of played on that road trip other than a, a few minutes here and there. And really one game, I, I, I thought we had some really good energy. Uh, they'll get your attention pretty quick because they are the Stanley Cup champions and uh, they, you know, Kucherov's out, but they have a full lineup there. And uh, so hopefully we'll be ready to go. Yeah, Kutrov's out, but Stamkos is healthy. So that's a yeah. pretty fair trade yeah. for them, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, one last thing for you here. Uh, normally, home opener would be a packed building. The energy would be through the roof, literally here. Uh, it's not going to be that way tonight, but you were on the road for the six days in the four games. Are you hoping that just the fact to come home, guys be with their families, or just be able to go where they want to go and and be loosened up a little bit? Are you hoping that that translates into a better performance here this weekend? Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I, uh, I, I just think uh, your first road trip, we're out there for a while, just getting back home and playing in your own building. You know, there's no people, but uh, just, just being comfortable in your surroundings. And again, it's Tampa. Uh, uh, I, I hope coupled with that, that uh, we'll have some energy and, and play this game the proper way. Let me tell you, I'm so much looking forward to actually seeing a game and calling it and not feeling like I'm calling a video game. So I'm excited to see you tonight from a distance towards. Yeah, just just keep your distance, man. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sure that's not just now. That's like forever. I get it. Forever, Perfect. yes. <laughs> Thank you, Torts. Good luck. All right, Bobby. Take care, bud.